Welcome back to University Bedford. It's another weekly construction update for you. And this week, we have seen some actually exciting activity going on at the site. I can't wait to show you some footage of that. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because we've got a lot of things going on at the moment. We obviously provide daily updates on YouTube Shorts and all of the other platforms. We also are going through all of the planning documents one by one and we are deep diving into each of them. You're not going to want to miss that. It is an opportunity to nerd out but it is very very fun. We're also doing lives every Thursday at 7 p.m. so you don't want to miss a single thing. Make sure you're subscribed. Now let's hop over to the site and see what's going on. Now, if you've seen the trucks from in situ SI around the Bedford site, you've already witnessed the first size of progress. They just aren't any trucks. They're carrying out a special task known as cone penetration testing or CPT for short. It may not sound as thrilling as a high speed coaster, but trust me, CPT is the hero of any major construction project without it nothing else can happen so what exactly is cpt imagine pushing a precision engineered cone deep into the ground slowly carefully while an array of sensors measure resistance friction and even pour water pressure it's like giving the earth an x-ray layer by layer mapping its hidden structure this information tells engineers whether the soil can hold the weight of massive structures like roller coasters, hotels and entertainment complexes. It also identifies areas where the ground might need to be strengthened or treated before construction can begin. The Bedford site is unique. Sitting on the former Kempston Hardwick Brickworks, this land has a rich industrial past and that means varied soil conditions. Clay, sand fill material all mixed together. CPT gives a detailed reading of this underground patchwork, making sure that when construction kicks off later this year or in 2026, everything from the foundations to the drainage systems is designed with precision. For Universal Studios near Bedford, this isn't just important, it's essential. A theme park of this scale, expected to welcome over 8 million visitors a year, needs rock solid reliability, both figuratively and literally. But ground testing isn't the only story unfolding here. We're in the midst of one of the most important parts of the planning process, public consultation. Now today is the 24th of July, 2025, which means we're in a window where every voice from local residents to business owners can shape what's coming. This isn't just a formality, it's a genuine opportunity to influence how this project integrates with Bedford's community, infrastructure and environment. The construction period is part of the route towards planning consent, which in this case is being handled under a Special Development Order or SDO. Now what's an SDO? It's a planning mechanism used for nationally significant projects allowing the government to approve developments that bring huge economic and cultural benefits while ensuring that local feedback is still fully considered. The Universal Studios Bedford project is exactly that kind of once in a generation investment. With £50 billion worth of projected economic benefit for the UK, 20,000 jobs during construction and 8,000 permanent roles once operational, it's not just a theme park, it's an economic engine. The SDO process means that the project is being reviewed not only for its design and environmental impact, but also for its ability to deliver on promises for local growth. This includes infrastructure upgrades like the expanded Wixom Station, new A421 slip roads and improved cycle and pedestrian networks. These are all part of the blueprint that Universal is committing to, ensuring that the park isn't just a vista attraction, but a long-term benefit for the region. During the public consultation, feedback is gathered on everything from transport plans to wildlife protection. People want to know how will traffic be managed on peak days? What about noise and light pollution? How will local ecology be protected? These are valid questions and Universal's team has been addressing them 
with detailed studies. And a lot of those are in the planning documents, which we are unpacking one by one on this channel. If that's of interest to you, make sure you are subscribed. For example, noise and light within the park will be designed to stay inward facing, creating immersive experiences for guests without disturbing surrounding communities. Meanwhile, thousands of new trees and green buffers are planned to enhance biodiversity and shield the site. Now, core penetration testing also plays a role here too. It's not just about building rides. It's also about ensuring sustainable drainage, flood prevention and environmental safety. By understanding the subsurface conditions, engineers can design systems that handle water runoff, prevent erosion and protect nearby watercourses like Elso Brook. CPT data even feeds into decisions about landscaping because it shows whether soil needs conditioning or reinforcement to support the thousands of new trees and plants that will define the resort's green spaces. As the July sun beats down on Bedford, you might see those small blue markers scattered around the site. Each one represents a data point, a piece of the puzzle that engineers are assembling. They mark where CPT rigs have tested the ground, drilling deep to map resistance and identify how the site will respond to the massive structures that will eventually rise here. Think of them like breadcrumbs, leading from today's empty fields to the grand opening day in 2031. There's something almost poetic about this phase of development. It's quiet, no towering cranes yet, no crowds of workers, just a handful of specialists meticulously gathering data that will shape every decision moving forward. It's the foundation of trust. Trust that when the park opens, every structure will be safe, stable and built to last for generations. Now, what comes after this? Once the CPT data is collected and analysed, engineers and architects will finalise the detailed design plans. These plans will inform the structural foundations, drainage systems and utility layouts. Then come the enabling works, levelling the site, creating access roads and setting up construction zones. Only after that do the first visible signs of the park emerge. Steel frames, coaster tracks and themed facades. We're still a step or two away from that, but every day of testing brings us closer. Public consultation is crucial during this time. If you live in Bedford or nearby, now is the time to have your say. Do you want better road connections? Do you want more green space around the resort? Do you want input on how local history is celebrated in the park's design? These are all topics Universal wants to hear about. Over 92% of people who responded in previous engagement periods said they supported the project. And this is your chance to add your voice to that chorus. It's worth remembering that Universal Bedford isn't just about rides. The plans include a city walk style entertainment, restaurant, retail destination and a resort hotel. This means opportunities for local businesses, suppliers and creative industries. In many ways, CPT and ground testing are the quiet prelude to a massive symphony of construction, creativity and community impact. So why should you care about a cone being pushed into the soil? Because it's the first domino. Without reliable data from CPT, everything else would be guesswork. And when you're building what could become the most visited attraction in the UK, guesswork isn't an option. This is science and engineering working hand in hand to make dreams and a positive future possible. Thank you so much for joining us this week for our weekly construction update. If you haven't already, make sure you give the video a good thumbs up and subscribe. You don't want to miss a single step of this journey. We've got some consultations going on with the local community at the moment as part of the planning application, and we will be covering all of the different opinions voiced at some of those parish council and town council meetings in our content. You're not going to want to miss a single moment. I can't wait to share it with you. See you very soon.